Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, and Lydia. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. And breathe. Today, I thought we could talk a bit about bullying. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a video talking about my cyberbullying experience as an adult. And in the past, I've made a video talking a bit about the bullying that went on in school, but I've never really gone into the full depth of it. So that's what I'm going to do today. So if that's your kind of content, then stick around. So, yeah, I was bullied from around the age of 11 by a girl called Rosanna. And to begin with, we were friends. We played Nintendogs together. You know, was, we lived in the same street. It was a good friend. And then one day, she stopped talking to me. I didn't know why. Then on the way home, she followed me a, an alternative route up the paths and she grabbed my hair like that and pulled me backwards. And that was when I knew I was in trouble. So I phoned my mom on my little pink flip phone. I'll try and insert a picture of my old room. I lived in them days. So it was the start of it. But then every day she'd follow me up the hill and beat me up. Every day. It was not a verbal bully. And it escalated to a point where she carved in my mum's front door, Lydia die. She was a real piece of work. And the school was actually pretty helpful. And I don't give a lot of credit to my school when it comes to bullying because they're just not very good at it. Essentially, well, they did a managed move with her. If you don't know what that is, that's where they, they collaborate with another school and they move a pupil across to try and not interrupt their education, but they move you across to another school. Now, this is, this is going to come up later, but I did nearly move school because of bullying. I nearly moved to the school my youngest, younger sister went to, the 19-year-old sister. And would I have done better there? Probably. I was bullied right up until I left school. Like physical bullying. Then it all started in cyber bullying as an adult. So I haven't really ever caught a break. But back to school story, talking anyway. She got moved school and then uh, about a year after she sent me a message on Facebook calling me a bitch. So like, well, I am a, I am a bitch. And it's not a lie. I don't know how she found my Facebook because then, back then, I didn't use my name. I used, so year eight rolls around and I have some friends. I'll insert some pictures. But a girl called Charmaine posted a picture on her Facebook of me getting changed in the changing room. And when I commented asking if it could be taken down, it turned into this whole argument and then the next day in school they followed me around the, the school building so I went and locked myself in the toilet and I, I put my feet up on the toilet so you couldn't tell it was me with my bag on my lap because I was fucking scared because it was Charmaine and then it was all her friends and she's one of the popular kids in school I don't know why, she was horrible but, but yeah, for her behaviour she got she got moved school as well because I went to the SLT team which is this, what's it called, senior leadership team and they saw the post on Facebook, they saw the security footage of them following me and in short, yeah, she got moved school. Sorry, okay, I, I'm a bit dissociated this morning. I didn't get to sleep until after two o'clock in the morning. I used to put in video called with Alana at half twelve till half one. And if you don't know who Alana is, this is Alana. That's a YouTube channel. Go check it out. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. She makes amazing content and her hair is gorgeous it's bright purple all the way down the front and I tried to do that I even bleached my hair 
but yeah she makes amazing content and I highly recommend her channel hence why I'm recommending it now so let's move on to year 9 now year 9 is where the bullying really started to get serious I was already struggling with an eating disorder I was underweight I didn't eat at school I didn't eat at home I was surviving on Diet Coke Mentos, Polos and chocolate. Now the reason I ate chocolate when I was struggling with my eating disorder was because I needed something to keep my to keep upright and the sugars in it kept my sugar levels high enough. That's another video though. We're not talking about eating disorders in this video. So year nine this is where the first hate campaign started. Year 9. Finally getting into this. This is where hate campaigns became a thing. And to this day, I have no idea who is behind any of the years. Yeah, Year 9 wasn't good. Um, basically, someone made a fake profile on Facebook and used that to bully me online. And when the school got involved, they said there was nothing they could do because it's all online. So my mom phoned the police. And the police said the same thing. There's nothing we can do because it's on Facebook. Which is bullshit because I know for a fact they can trace Facebook. Or any social media. Which just blows my mind. Basically, I was left to deal with it. Now, this time I did have some friends. Well, friends. We'd fall in and out of contact with each other. We'd argue with each other over stupid shit. And I can't say he was very supportive when it came to my mental health. Year 10. Now, we're in the new building of Abraham Darby Academy. And... The start of the real bullying. This is the worst bullying I experienced. Now, in year 10, I got bullied face to face by two girls, Charlie and Amy, who were in my tutor group. And they basically made, made a joke that I was like, oh, she'll be a virgin till she's until she's fourteen. She probably has nits. I'm gonna buy a, to a toothbrush and toothpaste for her birthday, and honestly, it was just horrible. Then an online account appeared again. This time, that account added the entire year onto the page, and. It was mainly Lydia Die sort of things. And at this time I had no friends. So I was facing it alone. Eventually that page got deleted because one of the girls from the semi popular group managed to hack it and delete it. Still not sure how she did that, but she did it. Then a few months later, another hate campaign appeared and I was alone until Jess invited me to sit with them at lunch. And just being included in a group made me feel less alone. Because if they hadn't let me sit with them at lunch, I just, I wouldn't have had anything to do. Given I still wasn't eating, but at least I had someone to sit with while I drank my Diet Coke. <laughs> Eventually they stopped hanging around with me and I was lonely again. I'm not currently in touch with anybody from my secondary school. 
Then we go to the last year. Now the last year is where things got really serious. There's two girls, Amy and Charlie, that I mentioned earlier, made a fake profile to harass me. They were posting like, gonna get you in PE, gonna get you in maths, gonna get you in health and social care. This time, because the police refused to trace it, the school refused to do anything, I traced it. That's how I know who it is. I traced the IP address, which isn't very hard to do. Especially for someone who had an A in maths and an A in ICT. But that's not where it ended. It, went, it progressed more. One day in health and social care, I went and sat outside the room because I was having a panic attack inside. And I just needed a quiet space to be. Like I said, my anxiety has been pretty bad since I was a kid. I've always struggled with anxiety. Fucking fly. But yeah, it progressed and... Someone came running out of the classroom and stabbed me. I wish I was making this shit up. I literally got stabbed at school and I got taken to hospital by ambulance. My mum met me there. It was just... It's kind of why I don't like going out now. Because I don't trust people. Because if that can happen in a school, what's going to happen on the street? But yeah, that pretty much summarises my school bullying story. Now we're going to move on to cyberbullying as an adult. So I'm open... I'm very open about this. I know I'm going to get some hate. Because I make mental health content. Some people disagree with it being public. <laughs> And that's fine. We have different opinions. Opinions are allowed. But I don't expect to be harassed over every little thing I say and do. So yeah, adult bullying. A girl called Stephanie made a profile called Honey Numbers. Not, not literally Honey Numbers, but it had numbers in it. I can't remember the numbers. And I'm not going to look for a screenshot of it because it'll just trigger me. But they'd post things like, oh my god, she's on so many meds. Didn't you should see what I'm on now? <laughs> Literally, I'm on so much shit. It was every little thing I was saying and doing. Like, when I passed out on camera, I recorded it because I was recording me entering the room. And... It was for a vlog. I passed out and my camera was recording. I didn't set my camera up and then fake a, call, fake a fall. I literally said in the video, I feel faint. And I tried to grasp the door behind me. And I just went down. But they was commenting on that, then it was dissociation. They made took the piss out of me and said, this is the dissociating, and played a clip of one of my videos that I made where I was talking about dissociation and I had dissociated on camera. Again, not set up, I just dissociated. It's not my fault, I didn't control it. I wish I could control it, but yeah. Just every, like I said, every little thing I said or did was taken and put under a microscope. And rumours were started. Then I got banned from Poundland. Because I had a panic attack. And they thought I was shoplifting. Because I just ditched my basket and left the store. They thought I was shoplifting and took me into a room. And basically banned me from all Poundlands. But yeah, that kind of took on a role for about two and a half years. Eventually the police took down their profiles. So, I win. But honestly, bullying is so serious these days. Because... 
you never know what someone else is going to say or do. And even now I get hate comments on videos, I just delete them. But like I said, I expect some level of hate because I don't make content that's for everybody and some people say I should age restrict my videos and all sorts. My videos aren't playable to kids and that is the parents' responsibility to make sure the kids are using the kids' app. That's not my responsibility. But yeah, my bunny ears are all fucked up. Ooh. But yeah, I've been bullied a lot in my life and honestly the last year I haven't had any bullying and it's been amazing. All I can think is I'm too old for this shit now. I turned 27 in a few weeks. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.